Hello, kindergarten. Welcome back. I'm so happy that you're back to hear another lesson on sunlight and weather. Today's lesson is going to be lesson 2.4, applying sunlight, warming earth surface. All you will need today for this lesson is good eyes and good listening skills. And of course, put your sciences hat on because you're going to need it. I'm ready to begin, so let's begin. So on our first activity, we are going to think and observe. We're gonna think and observe. And here's our question that we've been asking you on chapter two. What do the playground, why do the playgrounds get warm? Why do the playgrounds get warm? So here we have the picture that we've been looking at for a couple of lessons right now, is the pictures of the Carver Playground and Woodland Playground. And here there's a question that says, what have we learned so far about why surfaces such as playgrounds get warm. So we've le learned many things. One of the things that we learned is that surfaces get warm when something with heat heats it up. So the longer the heat is there, the hotter the surface is going to be. Remember my last, one of my last lessons, we talked about that the sun when it's touching the earth for a long time, it gets warmer and warmer and warmer. We also used a model. Remember the model that we, we, that we showed you? Okay, so that is one of the things that we learned already. So let's see what else we're going to learn today. So here, the main thing that we need to remember is that when light shines on a surface, the surface gets warmer. When line sh light shines on a surface, the surface gets warmer. So here, let's take a look at what it says here. So, we will do another think and observe activity. So we have been showing you these cards and here we know that when we see the color purple, it's very cold, right? And when we see the color red, we know that it's really hot, very hot. So we have different degrees of temperature. So if you take a look at this here, very cold, we will then it gets cold, then it's cool, then it's warm, then it's hot, and then very hot. So that's how the temperatures change. So we, I'm gonna show you some pictures. You're gonna look at some pictures and you're gonna observe. And then you're gonna think about the question when I ask it, all right? So for right now, let's just look at the pictures and let's think about those pictures. So let's look at them really, really good. And I'm going to be looking at them with you, so you will not be by yourself. All right, let's begin. So this is our first picture. In our first picture, if you notice, what can you tell that it's the same? Right, they are the same picture. It's actually the same place. What makes it different? That's right. The difference is that on one picture, the arrow is pointing to the dark side, and in this picture, the arrow is pointing to the bright side. So if we're looking at where the arrow is pointing at now, is it colder or is it warmer? Think. Observe and think. 
What is the answer? So in this picture, is it going to be warmer or is it going to be colder? It could be cool, it could be cold, but it's not going to be hot, right? Because there's no sunlight on that side. Now when we look at this side, we can predict that it's either hot or warm. And it could also be very hot depending how long the sun has been shining there. All right, let's look at our next picture. So here we see one side that is very sunny and we see another side that is very hot. Now, I also want you to observe where it is. So that is the desert. And if you know about the desert, and I'm sure you all know about the desert, when it is daytime in the desert, especially late in the afternoon, it is very hot. Remember that red color we showed, we talked about a minute ago? And the picture that is dark at night, the desert is very cold, which would be what color? That's right, purple. Okay, let's see our next picture. So here we have a picture of a dog. Oh, what a beautiful dog. So where the dog is sitting, we can predict that is to be cool cooler and where the dog is not sitting this arrow right here I am predicting that it's hot that's why the dog is sitting where the shade is I'm sure you've done that sometimes when you go to the park you find a tree with a nice shade I do that and I sit under the shade and it feels so much better than being too hot all right Let's show you another picture so here we have the bench. And if you were to sit in this bench, how do you think it's going to feel? Probably nice and hot. And you probably want to feel some heat. Because sometimes we want to feel some heat. What about in this picture? By the shade, it's probably cooler. Right? We're getting so good at this. All right, let's continue. Here we see another picture, and in this picture, on the left side, you see the sun, and it's dark. Over on this side, you see the sun, and it's a beautiful, shiny day. So by looking at the pictures, we can predict, with what we know right now, that on this side, it's cold, and on this side, it's hot. Or it could be very cold and very hot. Now, let's take a look at this picture again. Remember that I told you that this was the desert. In the desert, we learn that when it is the daytime, it is very hot. And when it is the nighttime, it is very cold. So with that information, we're going to look at a sentence frame and we're going to complete the sentence using the information that we know. So here it says, we're going to explain the temperature of a surface like scientists. We will use the word because, this is the word because right here, because to help explain why a surface is warmer or cooler. Right? So, the surface is warmer because sunlight is shining on it. Very good. Then on the other side, the surface is cooler because the sunlight is not shining on it. See? Shiny, not shiny. 
You are getting so good at scientists and helping me fill all these questions out. So now we're going to reflect on sunlight warming Earth's surface. We're going to think about a few questions about Earth's surface. You will think of the answer and then point to the picture that matches the answer. So if I say daytime, your option will be to point at this picture or that picture. That's right, it would be here, right? If I say that the sunlight is shining on the Earth's surface, it would be this picture. Let's look at the next one. Is Earth's surface warmer in the daytime or in the nighttime? I know you know the answer because we've been talking about it for a long time, right? Yes, the Earth's surface is warmer in the daytime just like in the playground. Okay, let me see our next one. So let's see what it's gonna ask us now, it says. Think of the answer silently. So silently we're gonna think about it. I'm gonna think too. What is making our surface warmer in the daytime? With everything that you've learned so far, what is making the Earth's surface warmer in the daytime? Let's think. And then I want to hear all of you tell me at the same time. Are you ready? I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Yes, the sun. Of course, the sun. All right. You did a great job. Okay, let's keep going. So now we're going to interpret the playground temperature data. Remember, the data is the information that we have and we record the data. The students at Carver and Woodland have been using thermometers to measure the temperature of their playground each day. The data might help us figure out what is causing the temperature differences between the playgrounds. And looking here, this is Carver in the play, Carver playground in the daytime. And if we're looking at the picture, and knowing the colors that we already learned about, it shows uh, Carver's playground during the daytime. So it says, what do you observe about the temperature during the daytime? And as you can see, it changes throughout the day, but it's either warm or it's hot. So all day is warm and hot, warm and hot. Let's see our next one. On this slide, we see that at nighttime, it is very cold because we see all purple. And we know that already that when we see purple, that means that it's very cold. On this graph right here, on this data, we can compare the nighttime and the daytime temperatures. And it says, what is the night temperature on Carver's playground the same as or different from the daytime temperature. And we already talked about it, and we said that at the nighttime is very cold because it's all purple, and in the daytime, it's hot and warm. Hot, or very, hot and warm, hot and warm, but it's hot. It's hot throughout the day because the, the sun is reflecting on the playground. So what do you think the playground is warmer in the daytime than at night? Once again, we know because the sun is shining, the sunlight is shining on the ground, which makes it warmer. So here, we're gonna compare the temperatures of woodland playground in the daytime and the nighttime. The difference here is that at nighttime, there's no sunlight, and in the daytime, there is sunlight. And if you see here, it goes from hot to very hot because we see the red. 
When we compare the nighttime and daytime temperatures of Carver's playground and Woodland's playground, we can see that both playgrounds are warmer in the daytime than at night. So now quickly, we're gonna use our bodies to show the different temperatures. I'm gonna to point to the, to the children doing the different movements and I'm gonna, and you, I want you to stand up, everybody stand up. So on the first one for cold, you're gonna stand up straight and you're gonna put your hands straight next to your body. Come on, let's see everybody up. Stand up straight, hands straight in your body. Great. For number two, you're going to stand up, put your hands to the front, and you're gonna wiggle your fingers. Just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Number three, we're going to put our hands straight out and we're gonna wiggle them again. There we go. And for hot, over your head and wiggle. Oh, you guys are doing a great job. All right, you can go back and sit down again. That was so awesome. We're almost done with our lesson. So explaining sunlight warming Earth's surface. Chapter two question, why do playgrounds get warm? As weather scientists, we have been thinking about cause and effect. When one thing makes another thing happen, we have noticed an effect. The playgrounds are warmer in the daytime than in the nighttime. And we have been trying to figure out the cause. What is the cause? What makes the playground surface warmer in the daytime than in the nighttime? And again, the surface is, you tell me, we can explain why the playgrounds are cooler in the nighttime and the warmer in the daytime. So just like our last activity before, if, it, if it, it was hot because it was shiny, or it was cold because it was not shiny. So let's think about what new ideas we have learned. We have new ideas about the Earth's surface because sunlight, Earth's surface, sunlight, and what scientists do. Those are three ideas that we've learned today. Earth's surface, sunlight, and what scientists do. And once again, remember that scientists observe, they record, they read, compare, make models, and communicate. Remember, scientists do different things to answer all of these questions. So this is all the stuff that, that they do. We have learned that the playgrounds are warmer in the daytime than in the nighttime because sunlight only shines on them in the daytime. This happens on both playgrounds. So we now know that this is not what is causing the differences in their temperatures. So we all have to remember that there are still other temperature differences that we do not yet understand. The playgrounds are both warmer in the afternoon than in the morning. But Woodland's playground is warmer than Carver's playground in both the morning and in the afternoon. We will continue to work as weather scientists to investigate what might be causing the differences in temperature on the playground in the next lesson. Thank you again for joining me today. I really, really enjoy having these lessons with you. Take care. Be safe. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye-bye.